So if you watched my video from two weeks ago about setting up OBS, you'll know that I talked about separating audio sources and how I prefer doing that instead of having the default audio mixer with all the default items on all the time. Having the audio sources set up on a scene by scene basis gives you a lot more flexibility and a lot more control, which then in turn has you clicking on your streaming computer a lot less than you normally would. Hey, what's up everybody, Kadak here, and today we're gonna go over how to set up your audio sources on a scene by scene basis in order to have a lot more flexibility and control. If you have your audio set up by default in OBS, you're gonna have all of your audio sources set up and no matter what scene you're on, it's gonna show all of those default audio devices. The only way to change their volumes or to mute one is to physically go into the audio mixer and mute a certain source when you're in a different scene or reduce that volume in the mixer for that certain scene. And it becomes really annoying because once you switch back to another scene, you have to either go back and unmute it or you have to go back and raise that volume lever. So having the audio sources set up inside of a source instead of by the default way gives you a lot more flexibility. If you end up finding anything in this video helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you liked subscribed and uh, let's just hop right into it. So by default, this is what your OBS is gonna look like. You're gonna have all of your uh, default audio sources. If you go into your settings and you go to audio, you'll see these are all set to default. Some of these may be disabled, so they actually won't appear at all, right, for example but this is the default setup for global audio devices. Now, the problem with this is if we go and create another scene, we'll just call this one scene two, and I want to mute my desktop two audio for scene two, but I want it to play on scene one. If I switch back to scene one, that's still muted, right? Or for example, on my stream starting screen, I want the music, right? So let's say Mike Auxiliary three, we'll call this one a music channel. We want our music to be full volume, but then once we get to our just chatting or our game, we want it to be about 50% so that people can hear me better, right? So we go into scene two, which would be my game one. We would set this to about 50%. We switch back to here. It's still only at 50%. So this is what I'm talking about and setting audio sources up on a scene per scene basis allows you to do these without having to go and click into the audio mixer and manually do everything every time. So first things first, we have to disable all of the global audio. So you go to settings, you go to audio, and we're just gonna disable all of these. All right, so now you'll see our audio mixer is empty. Now we can add those audio sources inside the sources item so that they're controlled by a scene per scene basis. So let's call this one Music Max, right? So I use Voice Meter, and if you wanna see how to do this and take it to the next level by separating certain actual audio devices, so like Discord and, and your music, like I do on my stream right now, you can do that with Voice Meter and it's really helpful. I have a video on that. Um, but for now, let's just say that my music will play on these stream streaming speakers right here. All right, so we're going to call this one Music Max. We want it to be max volume, and this is going to be our stream starting screen, right? But when we go to our scene two, we want that music to be at 50%. So when we go ahead and we add a source, you're not going to add the existing one. You're going to add a new one, and you're going to call this one maybe Music Background. Um, editor Dimitri here. Um, the reason that we're creating a new audio output source and not using the same one as before, the settings are per source. So for example, if you were to use the Spotify Max on multiple different scenes and you had set the volume to a certain level, it'll be the exact same volume level on every scene for that specific source. So if you want different audio levels, on different scenes, you have to create new sources, which is why I create a Spotify Max and a Spotify Background, for example. All right, back to the video. We're gonna add the same device, but in here, we're gonna put it to about 50%. So now when I switch between the two, you'll see 
Music Max is at 100%. Music Background is at 50%, but they're using the exact same Windows audio device. They're just mixing it inside of OBS at different volume levels. Now, what this also does is that any audio source that you don't add onto a scene, you're not gonna have it going out to uh, your stream, for example. So a really good idea for this is with your stream starting, maybe you only want your music to be played. You don't want people to be able to hear your microphone. You don't want people to be able to hear your Discord. You can set it up so that that starting screen only has your background music on or your music max. And then once you switch over to your just chatting, it switches down to the music 50% and then it adds your microphone and your Discord. So for example, these are a bunch of the scenes that I use on my actual streaming computer. And you can see here, I have an actual grouped folder called standard audio, which has my Discord audio, has my Spotify, has my desktop audio, and it has my mixer. And they're all set at different volumes. But when we go to my stream starting screen, you'll see I only have my Spotify Max, that one's maxed out, and it's using the exact same audio device as my Spotify background music. So grouping up your audio, if you're gonna use your, the same kind of audio sources across multiple different scenes, like I do with my just chatting and my main, for example, um, grouping them together is really helpful. Now, if you don't remember how to group audio, let's go ahead and create a new scene. We'll just call this one demo. And let's add a few audio sources in here. We'll add my existing ones. Oops. Let's say we have these two. So if you want to group them really easy, you can highlight them both, right click group selected items. You can name this group standard audio. I can't spell. Right, and now if you wanted to go into another scene, for example, so let's go into my Sony cam scene and let's go ahead and add the, that audio. We can add and you can go ahead and actually add a group. So we can go ahead and we can add that standard audio sources. And there you go. You'll see the two audio sources that you have. And this is a really easy, quick way to add your sources to multiple scenes if you plan on using similar ones. So having this control over your audio in a much better and more flexible way than the default global audio sources that you would have in OBS really allows you to be a lot more creative with your scenes and just better control your audio levels so that no matter what scene you're in, you know what that audio is gonna sound like because you can test it and you can keep it and you're not playing around with dials, muting and unmuting stuff within the mixer directly throughout your streams. You can do it all off stream and have it ready for streams so that when you're playing, all you gotta do is switch scenes and everything's ready and set to go. And that's it, it's pretty straightforward, it's really easy, and anybody that I've shown how to do this, it's completely changed the way that they set up their audio sources in OBS, and it makes the world of a difference. If you found this video helpful, I'd really appreciate it. If you like subscribe, it really helps me out. If you have any questions, comments, feedback, or suggestions, feel free to leave those in the comment section below. I try to read them all as quickly as possible and reply to them as soon as I see them. As always, I stream on Twitch from Friday until Tuesday. Come check me out and say hello. I'd love to see you there. It's really great to see people come over from my YouTube videos, say hi in the chat. And if you guys have any questions, you're more than welcome to ask me there and I'll try my best to answer them while I'm streaming. Thanks again for watching the end of the video. As always, stay safe out there and I'll see you next Friday. Thank you.